Yo, what's going on? I'm the we're the HX Hacking Crew, and uh, I'm HX867. Just uh, code names, just to make sure we remain anonymous, of course. But uh, yeah, I think I can trust you guys, kind of. <laughs> but anyway, let's get straight into Multigo. Uh, I'm quickly going to explain what Multigo is and what it does. Uh, I like to think of it as a big search engine where you can search any website you want. You can horus them. You can find their mail server information. Not actually get the mail server information, but you can get their IPs, their netblock IPs. And I'm going to tell you something. What I don't use for don't use for it a lot, but sometimes is the Facebook method works a treat. If they've got like linked email addresses, you want to find out. You've got. I know all kinds of linked information. You can use this piece of software to basically search it all up. It's like being, it's like an oracle basically. It, well, if you think of it as an oracle, like it can search loads of different things at once, that's what Multigo can do. So uh, I'm going to go straight into the website uh, part of this, which is probably the most simplest part where you can just run a transform. Say I want to do a, a mirror email address is found or to domain DNS. We'll do a to, to domain DNS first. See what it brings up. So you got Pavita.com, which is just basically the website which you can get Multigo from. So if you haven't already got it yet, um, go get it now before you, you watch this video because you're like, "What the fuck is he on about?" But uh, yeah, so you can uh, re really transform this to whatever you want. You can go to to the main DNS, which you've just done. You can do a mirror um, mirror email. I think that is. I don't know if it'll bring it up because it's the site, but uh, it should just be able to run them if it re ups. If it hurry up, it should work. Um, yeah, see, it comes up with, it came up with all the uh, mirrored email addresses found. So that's all the mirrored ones, which are quite useful if you want to do. Not saying you should do this because this is for educational purposes only, but uh, you could send them emails through NetTools and then spam email bomb them that way. But that's another side which I don't want to go into the legal terms with Palatir.com or whatever they're called yet as of now but uh, yeah that's how you do it you can uh, resolve it to an IP address say if you wanted to do a I'm not gonna, well a DOS tag which you, that's the external IP um, that's what it finds I don't think you can find internal IPs I can check but I don't think it does um, because they're all different on uh, the networks you probably need the netblock IP to find all the external IP addresses well internal IP addresses in that network but uh, yeah so you can do two website where IP appears, so that'll obviously bring it back to parvata.com. Oh, it didn't. Oh yeah, this will be all their uh, linked websites they have. So they've got the ISO software websites. Um, in my knowledge, any of these wouldn't really be useful because they take you off track of what you're finding. So these are basically linked websites where this IP address appears, where the uh, web, well, where the IP address is basically linked to all these other different websites, which in my opinions well in my opinion they don't really do much for you but I suppose if you do want to know where all the web uh, websites connected to uh, it'll just pop it up on your screen and it should be there and there all the websites that IP is well allocated with so we can do other transforms like you can transform the IP to all transforms and you can do a telephone number I don't know if this will bring it up or not because it's not 100% accurate all the time but it works to some degree I would have thought oh yeah we get some phone numbers uh, we've got a I think that's an American number by the uh, plus one it's usually plus four four for English I think so well UK or wherever but uh, yeah that's the only number they have I don't think you can do any more transforms than this I'm not quite sure but we can soon have a look uh, you can send me to Yarrow where oh well yeah you didn't put your Yarrow to where it would come from but I don't have one of those so uh, yeah, I usually get all the information like on yours and everything before I start doing the transforms. That's probably the best way to do it. But uh, you can uh, to phone number using search engine, which is basically going through a search engine of your choice. To a website using the search engine, so they're pretty much all you can do. And all they're going to do is basically redirect you to a website, which in my like my opinion and experience, they're not much use. So I just go back to the main website or you know the web address and run some more transforms on it just to see what else I can get out of it. Um, I don't know if yeah do a website query on port eighty yeah this usually just accept disclaimer and just click run it'll just um, 
see what they've got on port 80 and it doesn't look like their port is open uh, website security meanings or well meaning sorry uh, well web holes they don't usually leave those open on websites port 80 so well it depends what website you're doing because this is quite a big website on the web so it's only going to bring up some stuff but if you've got like a little PHP uh, MySQL database kind of website thing where they don't really put much security into it and they leave certain ports open you can actually go direct contact and you can bring a lot more information up than you could than them being closed so always good to experiment uh, you can convey uh, links in outside of site so you can like mirror the external links found so that'll just mirror them or in my case it probably won't because of the website security oh yeah it does fair enough uh, this is basically all their other associated websites, what they're associated with. So you can already tell from now they have a YouTube channel, they have a Twitter page or account, and they have a Facebook page. They have another Twitter account, and they have a github.com account, they have a google.com account, and they have a secureshareit.com account, and edu, isn't that the... I don't know if that's Australian, I'm not quite sure, but on the lines of that it looks to be so yeah they're all the associated websites with that uh, well, website so basically what they've gone and done is associated their web address with those accounts so you know it's not going to be much use to you just yet unless you really want to go on some kind of major attack on those accounts which I suppose if you don't want to mess about looking for the channel you, d you already know there's a channel there to go and you know compromise that or whatever you want to do so yeah not going to get into uh, legal reasons with the website there but uh yeah you can uh i think you can yeah you can run a transform you can all transforms i think you can email to a flickr account see if it's associated with any of those um search paste bins for email that basically lets you uh, accept that you run it at your own risk as everything on here you just run it at your own risk but i don't think they're going to be uh Giving any charges for their own software <laughs> used. Um, email domains, you can check that obviously. You can just search it to whatever you want to a person. I don't think it's going to bring up anything, but some do, some don't. It's just really trying no trial and error with this piece of software. But uh, other than that, some of it works. Oh, yeah, it did. It popped up with two people, but three people. Eyeless Homes, didn't. I think they're CEOs of the actual company. Uh, I think they are so uh, that'll bring up their email domain and then that'll search for all the people on that domain it's just a Google search engine you're not actually it's not a Google search engine but it's a search engine as such you're not cracking anything by doing this you just find the information to then go ahead and do what you want with that information which is not my fault if you get into any legal um, terms with these guys just saying <laughs> Uh, so don't just come back to me, oh you got me into legal terms and shit and you got me arrested and bullshit like that. Don't come back to me and say that. So, because it wasn't my fault you did it, so, yeah. You can also transform it to a website title, so if you want to get it to like a website title, it will transform it. And, um, yeah, it's brought up the Multigo. What, this is what's on their website, basically. Um, this is the title of their website, what you'd find in the top bar search engine up there, so it would be slash and then Pavetta slash Multigo. So, um, yeah. You, I think there's another transform which is quite useful, which I sometimes do. Oh, I've already done that one. You can do incoming links to the site, which isn't, I don't think it's going to bring anything up, but sometimes it does, and that's very useful to go intercept them sometimes it it doesn't always bring them upon it depends on the site uh, sorry depends on the site security so yeah uh i think that's really you can do to the website you can do a website's dns name which just accept that remember these settings and click run and it'll just bring up the same website basically it'll just repeat itself it's basically you say if you're halfway down the grid and you've got all these up and you go to the bottom one you click your right click on your mouse transform it back and it brings it way down to the list to do other transforms on the site so it just makes it not so clutterable so it's like the grid's not cluttered at all with like different like information so they all are like incorporating into one group so to speak instead of them being all over and you don't know what you're looking at and you're just getting confused 
it definitely helps with that. So uh, back to the IP address of the site, we've got different, um, well, domains as you can see here where they've been associated with, we've already gone over that's an American number, but you can do more transforms on the IP address, you can run a, a DNS from IP to DNS mail or other DNS names, so if you click that, it should bring up the same ones I think, because that's the one we clicked beforehand. I oh, know it's not as different, so they're more associated websites, and it's basically just brought publisher.com back up because that's the first link website there. Uh, these are all the mail servers, so say if I go to mail and we're going to transform resolve to IP address, and that should, oh no, oh yeah, it's associated with that IP address, so everything on here is associated with that IP address, and they're all linked in with that IP address. So there's all kinds of different servers built into that one static IP address. So yeah, that's how it works. Uh, there's other transforms I believe you can do to NetBlock, which I was talking about earlier. You can use it to Horus info. So if you want to Horus it, you just like you know click Horus and it does it for you. So it's a lot faster than doing things in the command line. And as you can see there, it's brought up a NetBlock. So uh, yeah. And with that netblock, I think you can run other transforms like all transforms and to netblock to IPs. And if you click that, it's just a big search engine. So you can click run and nothing, not much is going to happen probably because of the site security and their like whole server security embedded into it. So they're not just going to let you go straight into all their information when it's their own piece of software. But uh, any other website. Well, any other website without big security, so PHP, HTML websites, um, anything like that with a database with my PHP or PHP, they're all going to be vulnerable to this, unless they've coded it in a certain way, so it's not. But uh, not many people know about this software, so you never know, you might be good. You might be onto a good track. But all this information is useful with the IP address, you can try and compromise systems that way, but... I'm not going to be compromising any systems of these guys because they might block me and it won't be very fun. Uh, to a geolocation so you can find where their um, net blocks based in what country and it came up with Atlanta United States. You can already probably tell from the phone number if there's no other like uh, other countries phone numbers like India, Indonesian phone numbers or Indonesian like uh, what's it called? Um, area codes on there um, or any other country for that matter of fact if there's just that one plus one you know it's America so you probably don't need to do that transform on a net block it's coming up with Atlanta United States so you know where that net block is it's in Atlanta and it's in the US so you cannot do any more transforms on that well except to send to Yorba which is basically just going to revert you back to the first ever transform you ever did there's no other transforms you can do in that country. So it, it does have a privacy kind of thing built into it where you can't go as far as say this is their zip code, postcode, whatever the code and go look them up on Google Maps because it ain't going to happen. But you could host the IP from there then go to Google Maps, enter the IP address of that location and go into a Horus site, Horus that IP address and you could get their location that way. But uh, yeah, multi goes basic to a point where it doesn't let you go straight into um, really high detail spec stuff and this is only the demo version and I've only really played with the demo version so if you want to go download that that's links to in the description below but we're not finished just yet uh, this is basically all the same thing what you could basically search up so say if you had an IP4 address that is basically intentionally that address which is at the top the uh, parameter.com one, the 74.207.243.85. That's a ten in initially the website address. You'd hire us from that link or that web page, whatever. It just come up in there. So if you just want to directly go to there, or you just want to have a bit of fun and you just want to try it out and make sure everything's working before you start using the different sites for this, 